how all occasions do inform against me and spur my dull revenge. What is a man if his chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and feed? A beast no more. Sure, he that made us with such large discourse looking before and after gave us not that capability and godlike reason to fust in us unused. Now, whether it be bestial oblivion or some craven scruple of thinking too precisely on the event, a thought which quartered hath but one part wisdom and ever three parts coward, I do not know why yet I live to say this thing's to do. So that I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. Examples gross as earth exhort me. Witness this army of such mass and charge led by a delicate and tender prince whose spirit with divine ambition puffed makes mouths at the invisible event exposing what is mortal and unsure to all that fortune, death and danger dare even for an eggshell. Rightly to be great is not to stir without great argument, but greatly to find quarrel in a straw when honour's at the stake. How stand I then that have a father killed, a mother stained, excitements of my reason and my blood, and let all sleep while to my shame I see the imminent death of twenty thousand men that for a fantasy and trick of fame go to their graves like beds. Fight for a plot whereon the number cannot try the cause, which is not tomb enough or continent to hide the slain. Oh, from this time forth, my thoughts be bloody or be nothing worth.